Berkeley is a city on the east shore of San Francisco Bay in northern Alameda County, California, United States. It is named after the Irish 18th-century bishop and philosopher George Berkeley. It borders the cities of Oakland and Emeryville to the south and the city of Albany and unincorporated community of Kensington to the north. Its eastern border with Contra Costa County generally follows the ridge of the Berkeley Hills. Its population at the 2010 census was 112,580. Berkeley is the site of the oldest campus in the University of California system, the University of California, Berkeley, of the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory which is managed and operated by the university and the Graduate Theological Union. It is one of the most politically liberal cities in the United States. History Early history The site of today's city of Berkeley was the territory of the Chocanyo, Hutchiyun band of the Ohlone people when the first Europeans arrived. Evidence of their existence in the area include pits in rock formations, which they used to grind acorns, and a shell mound, now mostly leveled and covered up, along the shoreline of San Francisco Bay at the mouth of Strawberry Creek. Other artifacts were discovered in the 1950s in the downtown area during remodeling of a commercial building near the upper course of the creek. The first people of European descent arrived with the Deans and expedition in 1776. Today, this is noted by signage on Interstate 80, which runs along the San Francisco Bay shoreline of Berkeley. The De Anza expedition led to establishment of the Spanish Presidio of San Francisco at the entrance to San Francisco Bay, which is due west of Berkeley. Luis Peralta was among the soldiers at the Presidio. For his services to the King of Spain, he was granted a vast stretch of land on the east shore of San Francisco Bay for a ranch, including that portion that now comprises the city of Berkeley. Luis Peralta named his holding Rancho San Antonio. The primary activity of the ranch was raising cattle for meat and hides, but hunting and farming were also pursued. Eventually, Peralta gave portions of the ranch to each of his four sons. What is now Berkeley lies mostly in the portion that went to Peralta's son Domingo, with a little in the portion that went to another son, Vicente. No artifact survives of the Domingo or Vicente ranches, but their names survive in Berkeley Street names. However, legal title to all land in the city of Berkeley remains based on the original Peralta land grant. The Peraltes Rancho San Antonio continued after Alta California passed from Spanish to Mexican sovereignty after the Mexican War of Independence. However, the advent of U.S. sovereignty after the Mexican-American War, and especially the Gold Rush, saw the Peraltes lands quickly encroached on by squatters and diminished by dubious legal proceedings. The lands of the brothers Domingo and Vicente were quickly reduced to reservations close to their respective ranch homes. The rest of the land was surveyed and parceled out to various American claimants. Politically, the area that became Berkeley was initially part of a vast Contra Costa County. On March 25, 1853, Alameda County was created from a division within Contra Costa County, as well as from a small portion of Santa Clara County. The area of Berkeley was at this period mostly a mix of open land, farms and ranches, with a small though busy wharf by the bay. It was not yet Berkeley, but merely the northern part of the Oakland Township subdivision of Alameda County. Late 19th century in 1866, Oakland's private college of California looked for a new site. It settled on a location north of Oakland along the foot of the Contra Costa Range astride Strawberry Creek, at an elevation about 500 feet above the bay, commanding a view of the Bay Area and the Pacific Ocean through the Golden Gate. According to the centennial record of the University of California, in 1866, at Founders Rock, a group of College of California men watched two ships standing out to sea through the Golden Gate. One of them, Frederick Billings, thought of the lines of the Anglo-Irish Anglican Bishop George Berkeley. 
westward the course of empire takes its way, and suggested that the town and college site be named for the 18th century Anglo-Irish philosopher, although the philosopher's name is pronounced Barclay, the pronunciation of the city's name has evolved to suit American English's Berkeley, the College of California's College Homestead Association, planned to raise funds for the new campus by selling off adjacent parcels of land. To this end, they laid out a platten street grid that became the basis of Berkeley's modern street plan. Their plans fell far short of their desires and they began a collaboration with the state of California that culminated in 1868 with the creation of the Public University of California. As construction began on the new site, more residences were constructed in the vicinity of the new campus. At the same time, a settlement of residences, saloons, and various industries grew around the wharf area called Ocean View. A horse car ran from Temescal in Oakland to the university campus along what is now Telegraph Avenue. The first post office opened in 1872. By the 1870s, the Transcontinental Railroad reached its terminus in Oakland. In 1876, a branch line of the Central Pacific Railroad, the Barclay Branch Railroad, was laid from a junction with the main line called Shell Mound into what is now downtown Berkeley. That same year, the main line of the Transcontinental Railroad into Oakland was rerouted, putting the right of way along the bay shore through Ocean View. There was a strong prohibition movement in Berkeley at this time. In 1876, the city passed the Mile Limit Law, which forbade sale or public consumption of alcohol within one mile of the new University of California. Then, in 1899 Berkeley residents voted to make their city an alcohol-free zone. Scientists, scholars and religious leaders spoke vehemently of the dangers of alcohol. In 1878, the people of Ocean View and the area around the university campus, together with local farmers, incorporated as the town of Berkeley. The first elected trustees of the town were the slate of Dennis Kearney's Working Men's Party who were particularly favored in the working-class area of the former Ocean View, now called West Barkley. The area near the university became known for a time as East Barkley. The modern age came quickly to Berkeley, no doubt due to the influence of the university. Electric lights were in use by 1888. The telephone had already come to town. Electric streetcars soon replaced the horse car. A silent film of one of these early streetcars in Berkeley can be seen at the Library of Congress website. A trip to Berkeley, California, early 20th century Berkeley's slow growth ended abruptly with the Great San Francisco Earthquake of 1906. The town and other parts of the East Bay escaped serious damage from the massive Temblor, and thousands of refugees flowed across the bay. In 1908, a statewide referendum that proposed moving the California state capital to Berkeley was defeated by a margin of about 33,000 votes. The city named streets around the proposed capital grounds for California counties. They bear those names today, a legacy of the failed referendum. In 1909, the citizens of Berkeley adopted a new charter, and the town of Berkeley became the city of Berkeley. Rapid growth continued up to the crash of 1929. The Great Depression hit Berkeley hard, but not as hard as many other places in the U.S., thanks in part to the university. On September 17, 1923, a major fire swept down the hills toward the university campus and the downtown section. Around 640 structures burned before a late afternoon sea breeze stopped its progress, allowing firefighters to put it out. The next big growth occurred with the advent of World War II, when large numbers of people moved to the Bay Area to work in the many war industries such as the immense Kaiser shipyards in nearby Richmond. One who moved out but played a big role in the outcome of the war was UC Professor and Berkeley resident J. Robert Oppenheimer. During the war, an army base, Camp Ashby, was temporarily sited in Berkeley. 
The element berkelium was synthesized utilizing the 60-inch cyclotron at UC Berkeley, and named in 1949, recognizing their university, thus also placing the city's name in the list of elements. 1950s and 1960s During the 1940s, many African Americans migrated to Berkeley. In 1950, the Census Bureau reported Berkeley's population as 11.7% black and 84.6% white. The post-war years brought moderate growth to the city, as events on the UC campus began to build up to the recognizable activism of the 60s. In the 1950s, McCarthyism induced the university to demand a loyalty oath from its professors, many of whom refused to sign the oath on the principle of freedom of thought. In 1960, a U.S. House committee came to San Francisco to investigate the influence of communists in the Bay Area. Their presence was met by protesters, including many from the university. Meanwhile, a number of UC students became active in the civil rights movement. Finally, in 1964, the university provoked a massive student protest by banning distribution of political literature on campus. This protest became the free speech movement. As the Vietnam War rapidly escalated in the ensuing years, so did student activism at the university particularly that organized by the Vietnam Day Committee. Berkeley is strongly identified with the rapid social changes, civic unrest, and political upheaval that characterized the late 1960s. In that period, Berkeley, especially Telegraph Avenue, became a focal point for the hippie movement, which spilled over the bay from San Francisco. Many hippies were apolitical dropouts, rather than students. But in the heady atmosphere of Berkeley in 1967-1969 there was considerable overlap between the hippie movement and the radical left. An iconic event in the Berkeley 60s scene was a conflict over a parcel of university property south of the contiguous campus site that came to be called People's Park. The battle over the disposition of People's Park resulted in a month-long occupation of Berkeley by the National Guard on orders of then-Governor Ronald Reagan. In the end, the park remained undeveloped, and remains so today. A spin-off, People's Park Annex, was established at the same time by activist citizens of Berkeley on a strip of land above the Bay Area Rapid Transit subway. Construction along Hearst Avenue northwest of the UC campus. The land had also been intended for development, but was turned over to the city by Barton is now a lonely park. The era of large public protest in Berkeley waned considerably with the end of the Vietnam War in 1975, while the 1960s were the heyday of liberal activism in Berkeley. It remains one of the most overwhelmingly democratic cities in the United States. 1970s to present the Berkeley population declined in the 1970s, partly due to an exodus to the suburbs. Some moved because of the rising cost of living throughout the Bay Area, and others because of the decline and disappearance of many industries in West Berkeley. From the 1980s to the present, Berkeley housing costs have risen, especially since the mid-1990s. Despite her slowdown in 2005 to 2007, median home prices remained dramatically higher than the rest of the nation. In 1983, Berkeley's Domestic Partner Task Force was established, which in 1984 made policy recommendation to the school board, which passed domestic partner legislation. The legislation became a model for similar measures nationwide. In the 1990s, public television's frontline documentary series featured race relations at Berkeley's only public high school, Berkeley High School. In 2006, the Berkeley Oak Grove protests began protesting construction of a new sports center annexed to Memorial Stadium at the expense of a grove of oak trees on the UC campus. The protest ended in September 2008 after a lengthy court process. In 2007-8, 
Berkeley received media attention due to demonstrations against a Marine Corps recruiting office in downtown Berkeley and a series of controversial motions by Berkeley's city council regarding opposition to Marine recruiting. During the fall of 2010, the Berkeley Student Food Collective opened after many protests on the UC Berkeley campus due to the proposed opening of the fast food chain Panda Express. Students and community members worked together to open a collectively run grocery store right off of the UC Berkeley campus, where the community can buy local, seasonal, humane, and organic foods. The Berkeley Student Food Collective still operates at 2440 Bancroft Way. In the fall of 2011, the nationwide Occupy Wall Street movement came to two Berkeley locations on the campus of the University of California and as an encampment in Civic Center Park. On September 18, 2012, Berkeley became what may be the first city in the U.S. to officially proclaim a day recognizing bisexuals September 23, which is known as Celebrate Bisexuality Day. On September 2, 2014, the City Council approved a measure to provide free medical marijuana to low-income patients. The measure DeSoda tax was approved by Berkeley voters on November 4, 2014, the first such tax in the United States. Berkeley has a higher than average crime rate, particularly property crime, though the crime rate has fallen significantly since 2000.